Porta, siamo nel mezzo del Clinic Tour italiano di Peter Wilson e quindi servizziamo Peter Wilson. Hi Peter, hi. Come How are you? you? I'm very doing very fine, thanks. Ok, so, the first question. Yeah. We have in the video of your first Italian Clinic Tour. What you can say about your first clinic in Italy? Yeah. To be honest, you know, um, I didn't know what to expect. So, but I've been treated like, you know, like a rock star king. So I, I make very, very happy. I think it's been great, you know, great people, meeting great people, you know, taking, you guys are taking care of me perfectly and it's just been an overwhelming experience actually. It's, it's, been, it's been absolutely great. Very happy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I would like to know something about your band Darkin. I know that mm -hmm. you are uh, finished your new album. Yep, yep. We, we just finished the new album, it's going to be called uh, The Sinister Supremacy. So, um, and it's the first album that features the original, original vocalist, Lawrence McRory on vocals again. He sang on the first album, Rock of Angels 2. And he's back in the band and I think it's, it's like a progression maybe, like into new, you know, some new kind of sounds. Like we always sound different from every album, I think. But, but, uh, but some, you know, some stuff are back to the roots again, like it was on Rock of Angel. And, I think they're influences from all the different albums. I'm really happy with how it sounds. The, the mixing was done by Daniel Verstrand again, who did work with lots of other bands, and um, he also did our three first albums. And so the sound is great, and the songs are, you know, typical arcane songs, in my opinion. And um, I'm just very, very happy with how, you know, how the album came, came out. It's really great. Okay, are you planning some tools for the new album? Yeah, I think, I think the album, hopefully, it'll be released in June, like late, late June, and um, that might be too late for some summer festivals, but um, I do hope there will be some tours, like hopefully Europe and US during the fall. So uh, that's the goal, is to go on tour at least once in Europe and once in US. Maybe before Christmas or one tour and then the other one after Christmas. But, um, That's the main goal. Definitely go touring in this album, definitely. Oh, so, we hope to see you in Italy. I would okay. like to be back here. It's, it's always crazy here in Italy. everything I recorded my stuff back in uh, like late February I recorded my stuff uh, so I did 14 songs in four days actually so I, I, I think it's like almost the fastest recording I've ever done I guess so it was really fast but I knew the songs quite well some of them at least <laughs> not all of them <laughs> some of them we did you know like a bit of yeah, the, the producer of the album the guy that engineered and produced the drumming he's a drummer himself so we kind of work with the flow, you know, and just went with the flow and and we also got a few ideas in the studio where we're trying out some different ideas and I'm really happy with, with that album too actually. It's the the, the studio, the, the sound in the studio is amazing. It's in Fascination Street Fascination Street studio. And um, the sound is great and I think it's maybe a little bit more uh, oriented I, I mean the focus is more on the song this time around. It was great song from last album too, Static Impulse, great song. But I think it's m maybe even more, you know, focused on the songwriting this time around. And so the songs are absolutely amazing in my opinion. I think really good. But there are some crazy drumming on, on the album too, of course. Okay. So it's not only like, you know, pop beat for 14 songs, but um, but it, there are some, I don't know, progressive, but there are some very typical drum tools for me at least, you know, it's on full beat and stuff. So, uh, 
I'm really happy with how it turned out. And as soon as I come home now from the clinic tour, I will do some uh, growls and screams, you know, and the extreme vocals when I get home. And as soon as I'm done, uh, the mixing go, the album goes for mixing in early May. So, so there will be some screams and growls in this album too. And I know some people really love it, and some people on the last album thought like, you know, ah, it didn't fit the album, but. Both James and Matt, you know, they, they really want it that way and they want that sound, so um, cool with me. It's, it's not my decision, and I, but I like that kind of music, so for me it's fine, of course. So, but I know, you know, some, some fans of James Barry, they, they didn't like it that I was doing some screaming on, it, on the album, but um, that's the way how we want it, and, it, and it's just great. And I, I think also for this album it's cool because we did the album, the last album set again, full and it's the same lineup again. But uh, Peter Richards from uh, previously from Swordworth, the guitar player, he's also been co-writing for the album. So I think it's you know maybe it's a little bit different step, and uh, but I think it's cool that the same the same lineup that has recorded the album. So it it, it, it feels like a band actually at the moment. Yeah. And I do hope there will be some touring for James. Album too, album, when new one came yeah, out. Yeah, we hope to have the chance to see this band on stage. Yeah, I would like to play live with these guys. The rest of the guys, Ray on bass, it's Mark on guitar, it's Matt on keyboard, so, uh, and James on vocals, of course, and I, it would be so cool to play with these guys. They're amazing musicians, you know, cool guys, really friendly guys, so it would be really cool to go on tour with them. Everything is there to be able to make it look really good, but um, now I need time to, to 
the, the idea from the very first beginning, it actually comes from the book by David Garibaldi, The Future Sounds. So it's actually, how I got the idea was that when I, and, and it, it doesn't sound at all like that, but that's how I got the idea. And it's actually when you play, when you play like a normal paradiddle, so, but, but you play it in triplets. So you play like a paradiddle, but, but I think it's, the subdivision is triplets, so it would be like, So, so and, I, and I think that's really cool because then you get the polyrhythms of 3 against 4. So, so that's what I was starting thinking and, and then I was starting to experimenting with, with playing like, you know, but if you play like a parody, you can play like 1, 2, 3, four. this is the exercise from the book from uh, Gary Baldwin, 1, 2, 3, 4, but then I started to do 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, so, so that's what I did. I, I, I started playing, you know, in the three instead of the four. And so I started, I started the, the shuffle thing. Just happened by by chance because I was, I, I had this uh, main old turbo crasher, like a like the sound that I play with my left foot. So, and I'm right now I'm experimenting it out because. Uh, Often when you play, you don't use your left foot if you're not doing a double bass thing. But but it's, uh, very often you just you know you're keeping your hi hat on your uh, keeping your foot on your hi hat. And so so I, I thought of like moving it to the to the, the turbo crasher and um, so and so I got the idea of playing the turbo crasher like in, in groups of two like two tick, but in different times. Like, da -da, da -da, da -da, one two. So you get, so you get like um, the, the, the sound is in four, but it's played as a triplet again. So that's the basic idea I got from the Garibaldi uh, paradigm. And then I just practiced a lot of different stuff doing that just as an exercise. I played like a shuffle, and that's how it starts. Cha 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 with my left foot on top of it. And then I started playing like cha 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 cha. So it sounds like I did the four four times, or but it's but it's still three over four. It's a little bit weird to explain, but anyway, that's that's how I came up with idea. Yes, by by coincidence, I just happened to play like that in the three against two and stuff like that. It's three over four, and you know, three against two and stuff like that. It's really still something you can that I'm starting to be able to be able to shift from the three and to the four and to the three again. But I'm starting to hearing it now. So but 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 I still have a long way to go because I'm you know I can do like five against four and stuff like that. But that's more like I play like five on the high hat for example. But I keep I keep like yeah. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So, so I can play like five against four, but it's still it's hard to move into yeah. five and start feeling comfortable in five and then go back to four. And so, so that's why I started practicing different colors. So maybe in a few years I will be able to do it. Yeah. 
I saw that you finally met Virgil Bernardi. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, because of the Dream Theater audition, we got in contact. So, so one of the goals, I had, I had like two goals with the trip, maybe three, to be, uh, to be honest. One thing was to go to New York, of course, because I love New York. <laughs> and my wife, she, come, she came to me, so. So we went to New York and we and of course the audition itself was a cool experience but but also you know Virgil is one of my drum heroes so so uh, I contacted him before the audition and just asked him for if we could you know just meet at the hotel or whatever you know and he just called me like said you know hey it's Virgil you want to come to my room you know and do some practicing and just talk drums and I was like <laughs> in heaven so 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 I went there and and. Um, and after that, we've been in contact, you know, and he's a super cool guy. And so when they toured with uh, Alan Holdsworth, uh, the trio now, with Anthony Crawford on bass, so um, they played like very close to my hometown where we have the studio with Darkane. So and they had a day off the next day and they were staying at the hotel. So I said, guys, if you want to come to our rehearsal space, our studio, on your day off, just to hang out, maybe do some jam sessions and stuff. So, so and they just said, yeah. Of course, yeah. So we picked them up. Me and my friend, Wally Wogan, he they picked, we picked them up, in, uh, and then Anthony said, you know, well, we come to you know. He brought his bass and Jacopo Paporti also from the yeah. the drum tech of Virgil. They came, so we we set up four drum kits in our studio. So Wally, Jacopo, Virgil, and me did a jam session together with Anthony Crawford. I mean. I'm still in like it, it poor bass player. Yeah, <laughs> poor bass player. But man, that that was an experience, and and also experiencing like y y everybody is aware of the level where Virgin Blood is, you know, and and, and um, to be able to hear him like sitting like you know like you and me like yeah. on a drum kit, and to be able to hear him and see him, it really felt you know like okay. So they, you know I can play some stuff on the drums myself, but this guy. It's like on a different planet. It's like yeah. It's like it's like so different from you know, and and, and you you know there is so much more to it than than the stuff I know, of course. So, but but um, so it was very. And I don't get like you know. Well, I will sell my drum kit and quit drumming because he's so much greater than me. But I, I got it very very inspired by by seeing. I've seen him before in clinics and, and live and stuff, and it's always incredible. To, but but to be in the same room and to play with him. And you know, feel the control that Virgil has. Um, I'm still living out of that, you know, experience. I'm still thinking it's a, it was one of the coolest experiences, you know, for drumming for me. It was a big moment. Perfect, <laughs> <laughs> Peter. Thank you so much for the interview. You. Thank you. We hope to see you in Italy again after this training tour. I will. And good luck for all your future plans. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Ciao.